screen there. Uh, what's what's exciting about this is we're coming back here with uh, three returning characters, three brand new characters. You know, Aquaman, Superman, Batman. Everybody is is aware of, but oh, yeah. you know, the introduction of of Supergirl, which is really exciting. Uh, the uh, Flash's villain, Gorilla Grodd. Oh wow! Is is also uh, a lot of fun. He he plays, you know, different than you'd expect. And uh, Atrocitus, who is kind of like you know a big red angry version of Green Lantern. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can think of him as that way. Red Lantern. He's he's the opposite of Green Lantern in almost every way. But um, you know, we're gonna. We're, I guess we can start. Go ahead and start the gameplay with them and give you an idea of the, this new system that we're introducing in Justice Two. You know, with Injustice, you know, we always say, oh, you know, it's big battle of the gods. Huge destruction, transitions, multiple arenas. It's right. it's awesome, and um, with with the sequel, of course, we're going to add new characters, you know, and expand on that whole thing. But the gear system, what we're calling the gear system, is really like the foundation of what is brand new, what we're bringing to the table, differentiated from Injustice, as well as differentiating it from other fighting games. Wow, very cool. So, like with each match that you fight uh, you, you'll be grabbing gear or how, how does that work yeah so like after a fight is done uh you're going to uh acquire some gear and the gear actually powers up your character so every character in the game has thousands and thousands of you know boots utility belts cowls capes, oh, wow. so insignias and when you when you finish playing the game it's kind of like like xp you know you're you're getting a um drops of gear sure and then you get to actually apply them to your character and they power your character up in different ways you know uh, defense you know your, your strength your abilities that you use in the in the you know with, with your special moves and your and your health meter and you are in a constant process of um, leveling up so yeah, yeah. yeah now does this carry on to like online also like will i be able to face like you know man's like you know superman versus my superman where it's decked out differently yeah yeah and and you know what you said is really key it's like your superman right. your batman your aquaman against somebody else's and it's all personalized and it is it is you literally customizing molding your version of these characters that um go up against somebody else's. I love that idea because you see so often, you know, there's certain characters who will be more popular than others. And, yes. uh, you know, you, you see a lot of mirror matches, but now, like you said, like you can have your, you know, maybe I'll focus on like more offense type uh, gear, you know, versus uh, maybe Swifter's defense type, you know, uh, gear. Exactly. Sounds great. You notice here, this is a big transition. You can, we actually, again, you can throw your opponent <laughs> into a new arena where there's a whole new palette of, of you know, objects that you can actually use in the fight. That was, you know, something that really uh, resonated with the, the, the last Injustice, and we really wanted to bring it over. Um, you know, and you look at these these characters again, you know, with uh, um, Atrocitus, you know, he is, he is, he, he's all about, you know, you know, anger and hate and blood. So he has all these kind of blood moves. He can bring out, you know, the uh, <laughs> and flying cat. Well, yeah, yeah. His name is Dexter, and he's, <laughs> uh, he's actually also a Red Lantern uh, in the in the DC lore. Whoa. And so Atroscus can bring him out, use him, and uh, he actually aids in the battle of the oh. fight. You know, yeah, it's exciting. And uh, you know, Gorilla Grodd is all about you know, big kind of primal moves mixed in with telekinetic moves. He's, he's blasting them down back into the, uh, the street arena in here. where... I, I was just going to say, and here we see the environmental uh, interaction again. Yeah, oh, yeah, busting through walls, bouncing off. You exactly. see the, the power of, like, these attacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thing. And, it, it, you know, we always describe it as, like, the battle of the gods, you know. Yeah. So, you know, you know, Grodd here is his... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I love seeing, too, just, like, these two brawlers beat yeah. the crap out of each yeah, other. Yeah, the oh. variety of characters in this game is actually going to be even wider than the last one. So here, here is what we were talking about in terms of the gear. You know, like when you finish a round, your characters are leveling up. You know, you see this, the stats of their strength and all that. But then this gear that you're rewarded with, you know, the Curse of Rage, his new arms for, uh, for Atrocitus, and Grodd has these. Uh, you can also be awarded gear for, for other characters. Yeah, I so just if noticed. If you want to level up your, your, your other characters, it kind of gives you an incentive to really build up the entire cast. That, that is very cool. That is all. I'm actually really, really excited about like, the loot drop system and like looking at like, oh, if I play so off against man, he's got like, oh, that, that awesome gauntlet. Like, what am I going to do? Like, yeah. know, counter that or whatever. Exactly. Or when you go online and you see somebody wearing some crazy crown, you're just like, you know, where did you get that? Exactly. You know, and um, so it's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of like this big collection uh, mechanic going on.
Oh man, what when is this coming out? I'm sorry, I'm like jumping to that, but I just want to play. Uh, <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we gotta wait until uh, 2017. Oh, <laughs> for that oh, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, but it's it's gonna be worth the wait, you know. Like like well, like we were saying, you know, there's you know bigger roster of characters. This whole this whole uh, gear stuff is gonna be uh, so exciting, and um, you know, just the the w another great opportunity is you know with the first injustice, you know, there's always characters who didn't get in the roster, <laughs> of course, and a bunch of angry people that. <laughs> that, right. that, that uh, character didn't get get into the game, so a lot of it is satisfying those those people you know wanted to see exactly. Dracidus, wanted to see Super. Yeah, cool. comic book fans in particular can be pretty oh, uh, oh vocal when they are <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. not listening. And, and, and it's 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 a great thing, you know. I'd rather have people uh, passionate about it, even if passion. That's that's a anger. nice polite way to put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. The people care, and uh, these games, of course, uh, you know, there are fans of just you know injustice itself. Like we were talking about earlier, the, the comic book uh, injustice has really taken off, and fans just love the setting, like the story the, uh, that the, the first game brought. Oh, out. it was it was it was fantastic. It was you know such a great um, kind of summary of the events leading up to the first game. That's yeah. what was so cool about it. And and uh, ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's he's really has anger issues. Like you said, I uh, and I love that idea that you guys, uh, you know, come from the perspective that it's like the gods, you know, like just these beings with like ultimate powers, just throwing down. Exactly. It's it's kind of like thinking of you know, um, you know, you, you have these these these, these super powered beings all kind of assembled and um, you know a story that kind of gives them a reason to want to be the crap out of each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, are there any changes to like you know like the combo system or like the mechanics? I'm sure you guys are still kind of you know tweaking that, of course. Yeah, we're we're always you know refining it. We, we every, every game we really want to add nuances that you know not only can be appreciated by kind of casual guys, but you know the hardcore fighting game guys. You know we're really uh, big fans of uh, esports and everything, and we really want to have this game be a big part of it with you know tournaments and 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 all that stuff. So. There's 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 a, a, a lot of uh, <laughs> really deep layers that we're, we we've added to the game for those players. Love seeing the back and forth there, like even as you choose the characters. Yeah, yeah it's that's a, a big part. Back, like in Mortal Kombat, you always have like these like awesome, very custom interactions between characters. And is that like and exactly? We we were so happy with how that turned out, you know. And these characters, you know, they have a lot of them have relationships with their, uh, with each other, and they have stories that they famous stories. They make references to those stories. It's, awesome. it's it's great. So you see a lot of nods to the um, to, to some of the comics you might have read, or so, um, and uh, or, or or something you might have seen in other media. And it's great how you see those relationships. So they talk to each other before a fight, and it, it really kind of it, it you'd be surprised how much it really uh, adds a, a level of uh, depth. It really does. Absolutely, uh, keeping tr you know staying true to like uh, the original kind of like source material. Uh, that has come before, because yeah, these characters, uh, you know, these are like the forefathers of, you know, the whole comic superhero comic scene, and uh, very cool that you guys have uh, taken that into account as well. Yeah, kept yeah. in the game. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, and the characters like you know the returning characters, you know, Aquaman, and Batman, and Superman. You know, what's what's cool is we've given them new the moves worst? and you know really kind of updated them. So like you know, they're your favorite character. You love how they play. You know, there's going to be some familiarity about it, but there's also other layers of stuff. Yeah. Man, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Super Aquaman. She's not, she's not oh. messing around. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a, a transition uh, into a, a train. I don't know if you guys have seen it uh, on on the right side. That is really um, cool because it's got um, you can actually you know the guy is actually like kind of spinning through the train here. Oh, yeah. oh, are we about to see it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, Aquaman. that's great. I love how it's Aquaman too. He's just getting knocked around. Poor Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. he's got this awesome super move that's. Um, so uh, uh, you know, it's probably one of one of my favorite ones in the game right now. It's just kind of really, uh, it's just so ridiculously over the top. Yeah. Considering his last one had this the start, this big sharp, mm -hmm. he really wanted to have something that kind of one up that whole thing. Wow! Is it, or yeah. Yeah. I think we're seeing it right now. Look at that! Oh, oh it's looking like prehistoric. It's not even over. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, sick! Yeah, I just want to say, Supergirl, she actually deserved that. Like, yeah. she's, she's been knocking him around a while. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm I'm probably most excited for the loot system, though. That sounds like so, like, amazing. Just keep me coming back, you know, looking forward to the end of every match. Exactly. You know, like, fighting games are really all about, you know, you know, traditionally have been about, you know, here's the character that we made. You learn it. You master it. You get it. Now we're, we're you know, we're all about kind of 
giving the player more personalization into it. And